Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate, and we're on page four of Vagabond. And uh, I had to lay things out. This is kind of a complicated paper page, and so I had to lay it out to remember the order that the flaps need to go in. So the first thing we're gonna do is install this large flap over on the right-hand side of this base chipboard page. And the base chipboard page is seven and three quarters by nine and three quarters and then wrapped with coordinating cardstock. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that uh, my flap is the same height um, as my page, and it is. And we've added this page to every single one, but I'm gonna tell you the measurements. It's eight and a half by nine and three quarters, eight and a half by nine and three quarters. You're gonna score a half inch and on at seven eighths. Half inch and seven eighths. So you're gonna wind up with this nice gusset here. And we're gonna need it, because this is gonna be uh, a bulky page. Okay, so we're gonna, again, install it on the right-hand side. Here we go. That's in. Okay, so the next thing we have, I have to think about this, is we're going to have a left and right flap, and they're going to be centered. Left and right. Here it is. Okay. And they're going to be centered. So let's find our center line. And I'll start with this flap, which is 8 and 3 eighths by 8 and 1 eighth. Eight and three eighths by eight and one eighth. You're going to score a half inch, and then um, five eighths. So there's going to be an eighth inch gusset there. And sorry, oh, I'm stalling because I'm looking for. Here it is, my Tim Holtz ruler, so that we can find our center line. which is right there. I'm just gonna put a quick dot. There's my center line. If you don't have one of these, they're really handy for, uh, for finding the center of things. You can also measure and divide by two, which is what I used to do, but I find this actually to be easier, especially if you're not working with r nice rounded uh, inches or quarter inches. Um, And there's the center line of this. Okay. So again, eight and three eighths by eight and one eighth. You're going to score it half inch and five eighths. And we're going to attach it right here. Flush. I think these gussets are hard to work with. Uh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I'll mention it again. I'm using 80 pound cardstock. Um, I normally, 65 pound is my go-to, but I didn't feel like it had enough body to support these, these gussets. So I um, decided to use a heavier cardstock. Okay, I'm just verifying that it's still gonna close and it's it's closing. Now this flap is gonna go centered this way and it's gonna fold on top of this. So we may need to trim a slight bit off after we put this one in, it's hard to say. Um, I'm gonna put it in and we're gonna figure it out. Um, not used to putting a hinge on top of a hinge. Um, but I, so it may need some adjusting. Here it is, so I buried my tape. Okay, so, but e it's easy enough to trim um, a straight edge off this if we need to. And it's one thing when you're just laying everything out, but then when you start to actually tape things down, um, you might need to make some adjustments. Like I said, I don't know what I did with my pick tool. Here it is. Hey, sorry about that guys. I just realized I wasn't recording. So
So I'm putting magnets in right now to hold these flaps down. So I have to go back and see exactly where I left you guys off. But I was um, locating, I think, where the rest of the flaps go. Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay, and then as soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna open everything up and show you what I did because I know I stopped recording and I'm not sure what you've seen, so. This is really a challenge. Um, I apologize, I don't feel organized at all and I just have days where it's like this and I don't know what the deal is, but uh, I appreciate you guys hanging with me and um, sticking with me while I fumble around. It happens. Like I said, it's, it's been a week. Okay, so there's two magnets here. They're gonna hold these two flaps in place and those two flaps are going to have this uh, designer paper on it. I'm going to open these flaps, then we're going to have this image here, and it's going to open to the right. Then this whole thing opens to the left, and then you've got the top bottom flap. So that's everything. So this is the only thing that's glued down right now. I don't know if you saw me glue it down. It is from the 12 by 12 collection, and there's no magnet under it. It's just glued straight to the base page. Okay, so sorry about the confusion. Every once in a while, I'll break to get organized and I forget to hit the record button again. So if I did that, I apologize. There we go. I have to keep remembering the order. <laughs> the order to close the flaps in. Okay, there we go. So I am gonna go ahead and, um, let's close these. I'll just do this. Go ahead and glue this down. It, it works either way. I can close it over these flaps or under the flaps. I like the way it looks the other way because of the pattern papers that I chose. And you'll see that in just a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and get this glued on before I change my mind. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> sheet so I can see my edges better and so can you. Okay, there we go. And then this is going to go on this side. And this is from the calligraphy collection. It's a cut apart, cut apart from calligraphy and actually the other side is a cut apart from Lady Vagabond because there was no squares in the Sir Vagabond. They were all rectangular. So I used one from Lady Vagabond and one from Calligraphy. I can't see my edges, so. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I know that goes here. <clears throat> you guys must think I'm nuts because I'm feeling nuts quite frankly. <laughs> okay, this goes here. <laughs> this goes here. Okay, so these are the flaps um, that are mounted to the, the one larger flap. Um, this is the base, top, bottom, and then right. So this is the, I guess, medium sized flap that opens to the left. And then you've got these two flaps on top of it. So that's what where this is going. And it is confusing. Okay, just 
double checking the fits. And it's looking good. <clears throat> I have to work quickly before I forget where things go again. <laughs> Do you have days like that uh, where you can't hold a thought? That's today for me. Actually, it's been the whole week. A whole week of it. There we go. So then we have this beautiful continuous image and then it splits apart when you open it up. <clears throat> Here is the image for here that goes here. This is from the 8x8 collection. So this is going to close like that. So that's why I put the magnet here and here. So I really like the way this layered. And then this will close like so. Okay. Um, and now let's go ahead and uh, dress the back of these. So I've trimmed this out. <clears throat> but it looks like I need to trim a little more. Let's go ahead and open this back up. Fold these in because it's a little confusing. There we go. <clears throat> And then we need, this one goes down here, and just need to trim a little bit off. So. There we go. This is from the 8x8. So if you're new here, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All my videos are not like this, I swear. <laughs> this one I just feel completely discombobulated, but um, uh, some of my other videos are much more polished, but I am struggling with this. This is a new uh, layout for me, um, and working in folios has been quite the challenge. So I apologize if any of this is confusing. Um, because I'm sure if I was watching, I'd be completely confused. So thanks for being patient with me. I think you'll be happy with the result, but it is a little, I guess, hard to follow. And that's because I'm jumping around. It doesn't have the same flow for me as when I build an album. But part of that is because I've built hundreds of albums now, and this is my first folio. So there you go. You guys are learning with me. And, and again, if you are new here, give some of my other videos a shot, please. <laughs> this is not what you're going to experience. I, I promise. Most of them are much smoother and there's a lot less paper shuffling. <laughs> I think that turned out really pretty. So, so those will close. Actually, this closes and these close. There we go. And then of course that is keeping everything intact. So in order to open up to the main, to the next page, 
for the next set of flaps, you have to uh, move the right-hand side flap. So this right-hand flap is sort of the gatekeeper to the rest of the flaps. All right, now these are going to match, and I think I've got the pins on the inside is what I was planning. And then, what do I, I think I've got the world map. Mm, I think I put, no, did I? Here it is. This way, the world map is going to go here, like so. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. This is inked, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. And this is 12 by 12. and crooked. Yee. Sorry. I can't do I can't do crooked. <laughs> there we go. Better better. More better. The flap is slightly crooked, I think is my problem, but yeah, I can see it's bowed a little bit. Okay, I can live with it. That is one of the things about adding these extra gussets on the um, flaps is they tend to kind of wiggle one way or the other, so it's a little different. Um, I'm not used to it, to say the least. Let's go ahead and lay this in. Looks good. Uh, eight by eight. And that's from the Vagabond. It's not, not calligraphy, it's Vagabond. Okay. Okay, so these, I'm gonna do the pins. They're gonna go in this way. When I'm finished, I'll go through this slowly because it is confusing. I, I confuse myself several times, so I'm sure watching it, it's a real challenge to follow. So I will definitely go through it slowly so you can see where I've laid my patterns and where the base page is versus the flaps. I gotta shift this around so that I can uh, better see my edges. close to the edge. When I do that, I just like to wipe the glue because I know it's going to push out. All right. That's a little Okay, now... He's gonna go here. And it's already inked.
Okay, now we're ready to do this side. Okay, so we've got a couple. I'm gonna use this and this. We're gonna lay this down first and then we're gonna trim this top piece to fit. That's how that is going to close. Okay. That is it for page four. So before I leave, we're gonna open and close every flap so you can see again what I did. So this is the large flap that opens to the right. And we have this split image, which opens up and down. This flap, which by the way, there's magnets here and here and here. And then there's also a magnet here and here holding these together. Then you have to close these two to open it up this way. And then you have two more flaps underneath. Okay, so that's a lot going on. I don't know what I was thinking because the other page is so simple, but there's a lot going on here and it's fun, but it is a little bit complicated. So hopefully I'm going through this slow enough that if you back up, you can kind of figure out where you were. And that is it for page four. Thanks everybody for hanging in there. I apologize for all the paper shuffling. Um, that's frustrating, I know. I'll try to do better next time. Um, and hopefully you guys are liking the folio. It's definitely different for me. Um, so it's, uh, I try to think of different kinds of projects. I'm not very good at it so far. I tend to go right back to my um, mini album making, which is where my comfort zone is. So hopefully you enjoyed this. When we get back, we're going to install all these pages in the album and decorate the outside. Be back soon.